Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing all six Friday NFL preseason week one games right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Right now we're going to cover uh, Chicago and Philly. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. All right, thank you, Peter. We're working hard this week, that's for sure. Absolutely, and you've been working hard for uh, 27 years, right, handicapping? is I mean, is that why you've had so much success in your career, just hard work? Yeah, my uh, 26th anniversary as a professional handicapper was on June the 1st, so this will be beginning my 27th year with my picks publicly as a handicapper, and I was handicapping and betting before that, so we could say 32, 33 years that I've actually been handicapping and betting games. Well, we know that uh, in the preseason in the NFL, it has a lot more to do with uh, just pure hard work doing game-specific research than uh, numbers analysis uh, than, uh, than any other uh, betting time of the year. Would you agree with that? Now, no question it comes to reading tea leaves as far as which coaches and teams are more motivated. And it does come to, to looking at depth. Depth is so much more important mm -hmm. in the preseason as well as nagging injuries because coaches aren't going to take chances with guys that are that are hurt. So, yeah, there's so much involved in the preseason. But believe me, the gap between the sharp player and the square player and Johnny Public is much bigger in the uh, preseason. Okay, sounds great. And Joe Duffy's website again, OffshoreInsiders.com. And he did go 56% against the spread in a big sample size in the NFL in our videos uh, last year with uh, his free picks. All right, Philly, Chicago. Chicago is a two-point uh, favorite, and the total is 41, which is a huge total, of course, for a uh, week one preseason game. I'm not exactly sure uh, why the total so high. Maybe you can shed some light on that. Uh, the Eagles head coach uh, said that the, uh, that the first unit is only going to be on the field for about 10 to 15 snaps. What do you like here and why is that total so high? Now I do like the Eagles. Well first of all Philadelphia does have a ton of speed and I think Chip Kelly, remember last year he started out with that quick snap, that high powered offense mm -hmm. where people think that he throws all the time. He does and he just snaps the ball a lot and then he kind of slowed it down. But most people believe that he is really going to try to work it in faster and faster this year. But the Eagles, they've got so much speed. Um, you know, Jeremy Macklin, a key wide receiver, he's hurt. He seems so determined that he really wants to play on Friday night. Even Kelly himself said that he's not really going to be all that uh, conservative. Uh, Riley Cooper, now he probably won't have Riley Cooper as a weapon, but he says he's going to work in Darren Sproles in a lot of looks, and he said he's not worried about what other teams are going to see on game film because they know that Sproles is versatile. He can do a lot of things, but he wants to work Sproles into their offense. Uh, Philadelphia has Jordan Matthews, another wide receiver who has looked tremendous in training camp. He's got a ton of speed. He's another guy. We talked about another game, so make sure you watch all these videos. But he is a guy that I think is going to dominate the against the third and possibly fourth stringers, where I fe feel that Philadelphia will get some points late. Chicago, again, they have, you know, they, they've got Jay Cutler. He's probably just going to take a couple snaps. They don't have much after that with Jordan Palmer and Jimmy Clausen. So they're not really that deep on offense. I think that Philadelphia, their speed, I believe the, uh, the Eagles are probably going to score a couple touchdowns of 60, 40 yards. They're going to score some deep touchdowns, and people are going to be frustrated. They're going to claim it only came down to one or two plays, but Philadelphia matches up with their speed very well against Chicago. Now, I think the total might be a teeny bit high, but I understand why it's high because of the speed of Philadelphia. So as far as a bet on these lines, uh, what would you recommend here, Joe? Well, no, I would definitely say the, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, and if people want at least an opinion, I'll make the Eagles my official play, but if people want an opinion because that total for a, the first game of the preseason is so, uh, so high, I would say I would lean towards the under, but Philadelphia would be my official play. Okay, Philadelphia plus two. Thanks so much, Joe.